We used to write, you know, uh, memorial things uh, in stone inscriptions, including Dhamma, uh, which is the teaching of, uh, of Buddha. And uh, uh, one of the earliest uh, stone inscriptions in the 11th century uh, uh, already uh, had the name uh, Myanmar. Uh, and uh, it's very important uh, we be called all Myanmar, because I said uh, we are, you know, uh, a nation of eight uh, major ethnic and national races. Altogether, there are more than 100 national groups, and the most populous uh, are the Burmas. Uh, so when the British, you know, uh, call us Burma, they are referring only uh, to the main ethnic group. It, it, it would be like calling uh, Netherlands, you know, Holland. Uh, so, you know, it is also very important because of the uh, history under the colonial rule that uh, the, uh, we be called, you know, our, by our uh, real name and the official name, which is Myanmar. So when in 1989 uh, we, you know, informed UN, we said we have reverted to our or original name of Myanmar. But uh, when you talk of these ethnic groups, uh, I know that one of these ethnic groups are the tibeto burmans uh, who came, but, but there are others also. What are you? Are you a uh, tibeto burman yourself? <laughs> yes. You know, uh, the, all the uh, ethnic nationalities of Myanmar are descendants of three uh, major ethnic groups. Uh, the, the first are the tibeto burman and uh, the, uh, you know, the second group uh, is, is Mon Khmer, and the third group uh, is Sino Thai. Uh, I, uh, you know, uh, I should say that uh, I'm uh, probably 75% Burman, 25% uh, Mon, because we have been, uh, you know, a lot of, you know, uh, inter intermarriages. So, uh, well, uh, I must say that I'm 75% uh, Burma, descendant from the Tibeto Burmans. I see. Now, are you trying to tell us that the reason why Myanmar was called Burma was because the British confounded it with the tibeto burman majority in the country and thought it was easiest to call it Burma? Uh, uh, that, you know, uh, probably is the, uh, the most, uh, I think, uh, logical explanation because uh, when the British uh, came into my country, they first met the Burmas. Okay. So, and the British, uh, you know, uh, cannot pronounce, you know, uh, a number of words. For ex <laughs> uh, you know, uh, for example, you know, our uh, former capital has always been uh, called Yangon. Yangon means uh, no more enemy, end of strife. But the, the British call us, you know, uh, Rangoon. So even when we use the uh, British name Rangoon, our neighbors are calling us Yangon because we have always been Yangon. Okay, let's go a bit deeper into the British because as you can well imagine, Pakistan does not have great love for the British, nor do the Indians, or, or now, nor for that matter does the United States, <clears throat> because this Britain has done a lot of damage to a number of countries over history. Would you like to tell us a bit about the British role in Myanmar before we start asking you more pointed questions? Uh, uh, yes, Ambassador, I think, you know, uh that will also be very uh, useful uh, because you know to know history is to know uh, you know why we are uh, what we are uh, today. Uh, uh, you know, uh, Ambassador, uh, the Myanmar has a uh, glorious history during the Myanmar kings. Uh, we are you know in, during the 11th century we are called the Pagan Empire. Then you, we have you know uh, three uh, I, I would say uh, empires that uh, unified the whole of the country. Because originally, Myanmar started uh, as a city-state, and there are you know, uh, uh, a number of uh, uh, kingdoms uh, throughout history. But the first uh, Myanmar em uh, empire was uh, set up in the you know, uh, 11th century. Uh, but uh, you know, uh, by, uh, let's say, uh, the uh, 1800s, uh, the Myanmar was on the decline. Uh, and, uh, the British involvement uh, with Myanmar resulted in three wars with the British. The first war was in 1824, when the British, you know, uh, 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 we fought for about three years, and uh, uh, we lost the war and had to give two coastlines to, uh, to Britain. The second war was in 1952. We lost again, and half the country, you know, uh, was given to, uh, to, uh, to Britain. Then in 1885, you know, uh, another war, and they, you know, uh, conquered the whole of the country. And uh, our, uh, you know, king, 
uh, King Tibor was taken in India, and he died in exile there. Uh, they took our king to India, and they brought uh, the last emperor of India to, uh, you know, uh, to Myanmar, and he died, he died in Myanmar. So under the British rule, uh, the British have two uh, distinct uh, system of administration. Uh, one, what they call the Burma proper, and then to what they call the uh, frontier areas. For Burma proper, uh, you know, uh, the governor uh, ruled directly. And uh, for the frontier areas, they uh, give uh, the feudal lords certain authority. So they, uh, in many things, they rule through the, uh, the feudal lords. Uh, the uh, most uh, serious result of this, because you know we we call it a divide and rule po uh, policy. I think uh, they did that in uh, many of the British uh, possessions. Is that uh, you know while we had national unity throughout during the British time, we lost you know uh, our uh, national unity. Uh, but that the fact that the British tried to do divide and rule. Does that mean that fear of division continues to be a deep preoccupation for you? Or yes. have you got over it and uh, you are now a normal country? Uh, you know, uh, uh, Ambassador, the, there is you know, uh, a real danger to national unity and national reconciliation. And uh, uh, it is only after, under this uh, uh, present uh, government we're able to reunite the country and to embark, uh, which is the result uh, of a successful policy of national reconciliation. Uh, let me, you know, uh, tell you uh, that uh, we regain our independence in January 1948. By March 1948, we have insurgencies on our hand. During the British time, only the uh, ethnic national uh, races from the frontier areas are allowed into the, uh, into the military. So the, uh, we had you know, two constitutions before, and we are in the uh, process of, uh, uh, of finalizing uh, the, the, a new one. The 1947 constitution was drawn up after the, uh, under, the, under the British. And uh, that constitution has a lot of, a lot of weaknesses, a lot of weaknesses. And because of the weaknesses, some of the ethnic nationalities are unhappy with the uh, constitu uh, constitution, and as I said, we regain our independence in January. By March, we have insurgencies on our hand. What, what do you mean by the 47 constitution had a weakness? What yes. weakness? Uh, the, the weakness is that uh, when we are about to regain you know, our independence, uh, the British want to give independence only to what they call Burma proper, and want to leave out what they call the, uh, the frontier areas. And the feudal lords sided with the British, uh, they said uh, they don't want independence. But the ordinary people you know, uh, of the frontier areas came together in a huge uh, you know, gathering and signed what they call a pin loan agreement. And uh, uh, they said, we want to get independence together uh, you know, uh, with uh, you know, uh, the rest of the country. That's how you know, we, that's how we uh, you know, uh, uh, regain our independence. Because we want to you know, uh, get our independence, Certain concessions have to be uh, has to be given, uh, which awarded uh, uh, the right to secede from the union to certain national groups. So uh, the and some of the national groups who doesn't have their own states immediately are unhappy with it and uh, rebels, you know, uh, against the government. And uh, uh, initially, uh, in the in late 40s, uh, uh, in the 50s, the insurgents have control over most major cities in the country. And the Karen army was only 10 miles uh, from Yango. So uh, what is known as, uh, as Rangoon. And uh, we were labeled as the Rangoon, Rangoon government. It is from that stage that we are able to uh, bring about peace and stability uh, to the country and uh, bring about national reconciliation. I talk about the 18 insurgent groups. Out of the 18 insurgent groups, 17 insurgent groups you know, have, uh, you know, uh, come back what they call the legal fault. Uh, they didn't want to say they want to surrender. Uh, they say that they're coming back to the legal fault. But again, t the, the accommodation given, uh, given to them was that while we are drawing up the constitution, 
uh, they are they are allowed to hold on to